Peter Tarlow, and I'm speaking to you from Texas, along with my partner and colleague, Jürgen Steinmetz, who will be speaking to you from the Aloha State of Hawaii. And together, it's our chance to tell everyone about a wonderfully new, exciting, and dynamic organization, the World Tourism Network, and how we're here not only to help businesses around the world, but to help small and medium-sized businesses within the tourism industry truly have a voice on an international scale. I have to say that the person who's truly the hard worker, even though I take part of the credit, is my colleague, Jürgen Steinmetz. He puts in hours every day trying to help in these very difficult times, the tourism industry, and especially the smaller and middle-sized industry businesses to succeed and go where no one has ever taken them before. This is a, we all know that we're living in very challenging times. God willing, these times are going to come and they're going to go. But the fact is that the tourism industry has to stay in the good times and the bad times. We're an organization that brings people together. We don't care about your religion, your sexuality, the color of your skin, your race, your nationality. All we care about is that people in the tourism sector come together to create one unified world. And so I'm going to, uh, we're going to, Jürgen and I are going to talk a little bit about everything that the World Tourism Network is doing to make not only the tourism industry a success, but to make our world, our planet, our universe a better place for this generation and the generations to come. Jürgen, tell us a little bit about some of the stuff that you're doing. Yeah, aloha, uh, Peter. I'm uh, a German who moved to America back in 1982 and now lives in the Aloha state of Hawaii. I've been in the travel and tourism industry ever since the 70s. And in, I'm, I'm, I'm probably dumb in anything else in the world, but I do understand travel and tourism a little bit and um, communication when it comes to the travel and tourism industry. Many of you know me as the publisher for eTurbo News. eTurbo News were a global news publication outlet online with the first online news wire started back in 1999, 2000, when email just became popular. So we've, we've been there, we've been through the various stages when internet media was really not accepted and people were laughing at it to the time where also the big guys now all rely on their um, electronic outreach. Now, I'm, I'm very proud and very humbled to be able to introduce the World Tourism Network to everyone. 
this organization started just with an idea and with a discussion. And we all went through the COVID crisis. I think um, we were kind of the first organization putting together a discussion in Berlin at the ITB. And everyone knows the ITB trade show, the largest one in the world in Berlin did not take place. But I was already in Germany. I was visiting family before and I did go to Berlin. And uh, we had a small meeting with those that were left. And when COVID just became a reality, a bad reality because it canceled the largest travel and trade show. So we've been in this discussion ever since. And uh, when I got back to Hawaii, uh, we started the re rebuilding.travel platform. And this became quite popular. Um, within a very short time, uh, we had hundreds of people joining us, leaders in the travel and tourism industry coming together through Zoom events and uh, discuss, you know, what could be a way forward. And uh, this wasn't structured. It was more like a non-structured discussion. And we thought, you know, with rebuilding our travel, uh, many started talking about us and Zoom brought us together. And if there's one thing, what is really positive going through the COVID crisis is that people now can actually come together electronically. And, the, and people who never really talked before can now talk easily because we all work from our bedrooms, from our kitchens, from our living rooms. And we've really become one world. It really became, uh, it becomes one world. And, and, and I think uh, uh, this was one of the ideas, okay, now we got rebuilding our travel, what is active, what is out there, take a look at rebuilding our travel. Um, we started the Heroes Award, what became very popular in the Hall of, of Fame, because there's so many people that are now, um, should be recognized, you know, in helping others, helping themselves and helping the industry to go through this crisis. And we call them heroes. So we wanted to expand a little bit on the hero program as we go along. But uh, to structure all of this, we need some kind of an organization. And this is what World Tourism Network is. You find most of the same people um, you have met in our discussions, like Dr. Taleb Rifai, who was there from the very beginning. And you all know Taleb. He was a two-term secretary general for the United Nations World Tourism Organization. And there are many, many others. There are sitting ministers of tourism, former ministers of tourism, but then there are also the CEOs and leaders of companies. Some companies are one man and one woman uh, companies that are really struggling in the world. And uh, they, they really need the support and they need an, a way of, uh, of um, uh, talking to others about their experience and way forward. And networking. And networking. We, we, yes. And one of the things that the World Tourism Network does is it's meant to network. And I think both you and I have gone through the experience of being small companies and having to pull ourselves up by the bootstraps. And so one of the great ideas of this World Tourism Network is, is to help companies, businesses, uh, enterprises that are struggling, beginning, starting, that we can all help each other to pull each other up by the bootstraps. And the key element of the World Tourism Network is this, we are as strong as all of us together. And by helping each other, we're not taking away, we're not competing, we're building a better tourism world that will allow all of us to be more successful, both in the good times and unfortunately right now in some very difficult times. Um, and I think, you know, the fact that you and I work so well together, two people from different parts of the world, different cultures, sometimes we have different political views, eh, and yet it really shouldn't matter because what's important is the cooperation and the collaboration between all of us together. Yeah, we have so, this industry specifically, Peter, we're all building, need to rebuild together. And that's right. I think that's really where we wanted to come in. We realized they're the governments. Governments are structured through the World Tourism Organization on a governmental level, at least for many countries. Then there are the big guys. We've got the Marriott's, we've got the American Express, we've got the TUIs. And, and of course, there are multi-million, multi-billion companies, some of them. And uh, they're very well structured uh, with our friends, the World Travel and Tourism Council. And all of us wanted to work together. And eventually, we're hoping we can really um, 
be a voice for the for the middlemen. Um, that means those people, medium sized, small sized businesses, and these are really the backbone of, of our industry, and uh, they cannot be overlooked. Um, no, until and they have been for too long, because it's sometimes when you're a little a, a, a little mouse or a little ant, it's easy to get squashed by an elephant. So one of the things we've done in the world tourism network is come up with ideas on things, how we can do it. So let's just talk for a few moments about how we've structured the world tourism network. Um, we have our, our general, we might call it international branch of, and key leaders, but then we're also developing chapters and those chapters have two sections chapters by geography, such as Africa or Europe or a country or even a city, and then Af chapters by interest groups. We've already developed interest groups dealing with aviation, with tourism security, with women in tourism, and there are lots more. Matter of fact, if someone out there would like to create an interest group or a chapter, they go to our website, wtn.travel, the, all the forms are there at the very bottom of the page where they're able to actually start um, those types of chapters. And we will be putting on very soon uh, just some general ethics so that everyone is on the same page. Nobody goes out of there uh, off the limb and, and unfortunately embarrasses all of us. So it'll be, we'll have standards to say, okay, this is some of the basic ethics of the world. Uh, uh, the World Travel Network and how we as companies work together to show that we're all on the same page. I and bet you have some more information you want to give us. Yeah, and I here. think that's, Peter, it's one of the reasons I think uh, we're, we'll be focusing to build building this organization from the bottom up. Uh, we don't want to be some kind of a dictatorship of, of leaders that uh, Set the set the head uh, the the uh, uh, the rules for everyone else. We wanted it the other way around. Uh, we really feel chapters should take the lead, and we, as a global organization, can have the back of these chapters, and at the same time uh, represent, go out, and that that it makes chapters more powerful in having someone behind them, and that's kind of really the, the idea. And so far. Uh, with members in 121 countries, including in the U.S. and 37 states, we are growing, um, and um, and there are more and more hearing about us. Hopefully, also after our official launch, we're, we're getting in. Uh, right and when now. is that launch? Uh, the the is launch the launch started. Actually, we have an entire month of launch. It started on December one, and it's going to go to the end of December. And our official launch event. Where we introduce the chapters is on December 9th. And uh, so this is really our Christmas and Hanukkah gift and uh, to, to the world of tourism. Exactly. And Kwanzaa, yeah. to, also, not to leave anybody out. <laughs> so, if Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, or any other holiday that we left out, this is our December gift to the tourism world as a way of creating uh, really interactive ideas and allowing people to become, go to that part of tourism that really interests them the most, but learning through the seminars that we will be conducting throughout the year. Because not only is this a political sense of being able to represent the tourism industry, um, at least the medium and smaller uh, parts of it, but also part of representing is learning, not just speaking, but knowing. And so we will be running seminars on everything from, um, climate to security to economic development so that people have an opportunity to become part of this global network. Yeah, and, and talking about seminars, talking about panels, and that's really, you can see it through our lounge. If you just take a look, uh, we have a good number of very interesting events that already happened and they will be happening. Um, you know, we're recording this here on December 6th. You may be listening to it in February, um, but now it's December 6th and uh, we're going through an entire month of launch events. So everyone who wanted to contribute to this launch and also later on to the seminars and presentations, they can do this. Actually, we started a world expo. You can easily find it on the website. 
at worldexpo.travel, where you can showcase your company, your ideas, your panels, and uh, these are all events uh, we have uh, running, not only um, on our website and archive, but also throughout the eTurbo News Network and other media partners that are joining us and will be joining us. Um, presentations uh, for the lounge are all complimentary, and uh, we're hoping to be able to continue with the event. There may be, in some cases, cost involved, depending what it is and what you're presenting. But uh, we're, go we're going on in really focusing on reaching out to the world and, and giving our members and, of course, our organization vis the visibility needed uh, to make it to the next step. Okay. And this is because it's such an ambitious project. Uh, I'm sure everyone understands that it cannot be done for free. So maybe, if, first of all, when you join, you're able to uh, join. We, there's all sorts of very easy ways to join. But maybe you could go over a little bit the costs that are in that someone encumbers when they become a member. What, what does it cost to become a member? Yeah, and we, we try to um, to make it really realistic and our business model is definitely um, not on the cost. You can either pay a yearly membership fee or if the yearly membership fee is not feasible, you can pay it monthly and, um, and it, it won't break the bank. If you join us as an individual member, it's $75 a year or $10 a month. If you join us as a small business, you have less than 10 people working in your company, it costs you $30 a month or $250 a year. Medium size goes to $60 a month, $500 a year. And a large business, if we consider large, if you have more than 101 people employed in your company, it's only $150 a month or $1,000 a year. And um, so it's, it's not really breaking the bank. If you're a tourism board or minister of tourism, um, or on a national level or regional level, you're charging $700 a month or $5,000 a year. But it, of course, gives you an enormous amount of visibility and influence uh, okay. with, within our network. Um, so uh, we're also hoping when times go back to normal uh, that uh, we will have our own events, our own uh, trade events, meetings. And um, we, you know, we will talk about it when time comes. Right now, everything is virtual. Uh, ev everything is on relatively short notice. And we're trying to make it easy. Even You would probably notice our launch events are not set up that you have to sit there for eight hours in front of your computer um, all day or several days and, and listen to our launch. Now, you do it on your own pace, and you really only um, take in what you're interested in. Um, and it repeats. So. Um, when, when you find an interesting discussion, you can tune in live, you can be part of it, you can ask questions and you can, like what we did before in rebuilding, you can be part of the crowd. But if you don't have time to listen to it and you decide to listen to it later, you can go to the archive. Or if you read eTurbo News, if you go to our website, these events along with other content, of course, and breaking news content in mix will be playing all month. And uh, they will be repeating a number of times. So you get an audience if when you're presenting, we get an audience and um, you have more flexibility of actually reaching out. Even when, if you're exhibiting um, and you're showcasing your product, your hotel, your tour operator, these are commercial opportunities that fall into the same type of setup. And so we're trying to make it easy, flexible uh, and effective. And of course, what we're really trying to do is help people to earn the money that's necessary so that they can continue in business, especially during these such difficult times when we're going from one shutdown to another. And everyone in the tourism industry needs to find new ways, creative ways to be able to make ends meet and be able to develop um, a following that they'll be able to use in w when the days of COVID hopefully go away soon, hopefully we'll, a vaccine will be coming and we can get back to a little more normal. So I think this has been a pretty good introduction. I really want to in uh, encourage everyone to go to our website, which is uh, wtn.travel, and you'll be able to find all sorts of information, people who are involved in it, hands-on, 
regional meetings, regional organizations, interest groups, chapters, you name it, we are trying to create a system that everyone will find their particular niche within the world of tourism. Tourism is a composite industry, and therefore we're creating a composite world tourism network that allows everyone to feel comfortable and a place that you can call home. I think that more or less summarizes, Jürgen, everything that we're trying to get yeah. across. No, perfect. And uh, you will hear more from us and from everyone else because after all, it's all about you and us and everyone else. So we're, um, we're out there, we're launching. We're not, hopefully not gonna go away anytime soon. And we wanna be part of the game and, and part of the discussion. And we wanna make sure our members are part of the game and part of the discussion. Well, from uh, Texas, I wanna say, I started off saying howdy, and the end would be in Texas. Adios, partner. And so I'm wishing everyone Godspeed. And of course, in Hawaiian, it's a little bit easier because you use the same word both when you're coming and you're going. So the last word is yours. Yeah, th thank you very much, Peter. And, and uh, again, uh, thank you everyone for listening. Just join us, go to WTN.travel, uh, click on uh, the link, uh, join WTN. And uh, we would love to uh, welcome you as part of our growing family. Aloha.